parts of Henry County and the surrounding area. If you are here representing one of the many attractions, restaurant Yeah. Who's next? Have you spun yet? and bright stars through the perilous night for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Following the ceremonial first pitch was just a little bit outside, it was time for the Martinsville Mustangs to get down to baseball. Now the fans found their seats, everybody was getting comfortable, and despite some early rain showers, folks were able to put away those umbrellas and get ready for a reasonably dry night of baseball at Hooker Field. Now there are a lot of rivalries in the Coastal Plain League, but none more so than the Mustangs and the Owls. These two teams have battled it out over the years, and that was certainly the case on Thursday night. Good base running and good batting by the Mustangs continued from their first victory earlier in the week. They just weren't able to put a lot of runs together. They were able to pull out the victory eventually, but the Owls made it tough here turning a double play from third to first, which is a tough one to make. Pitching for the Owls was pretty good as well, but... Nothing could compare with the ace staff that the Martinsville Mustangs have this year. They're going very deep, and with a lot of pitchers who are 6'4", all the way up to 6'7", looks like it could be a very good year for the Martinsville Mustangs as they make a run for the championship. Make sure you stay tuned to BTW21 for highlights all season long.